Well, here we are in uh, Unit 6. This is the datum reference frame. And we've talked a little bit about datums already, so I think you've got a good introduction on that. But now we're going to go into the datum reference frame in a little more depth. And I think you're going to find this really exciting. So if you take a look at our slides, this here is, is the uh, uh, information that we're going to be covering here in this uh, Unit 6. And you have a workbook you can follow along in your book. Now, I don't know if you've uh, been uh, noticing here, but the datum feature symbol placement is very important. Let's say that we had a part that looks like this. This is your engineering drawing. And I've taken a, a datum feature symbol and I've attached it right to that surface like that. What does that create? Well, what that would create is that would create a plane on that surface over there. But you notice that if you put it in line with that arrowhead, it's a little different interpretation. You see, now what it does is it gives you a center plane. So you could have either one. Do you want the one face or are you looking for the center plane? This one here is feature R. It's in line with that arrowhead. And you see what the difference is. There's two different datum features there. Datum feature K is going to be the edge of the part. That's the surface. But datum feature R is the width. So two different datum features. One is a width, which gives you a center plane. The other one is just a plane surface, which gives you a plane on the, on the high planes. That's right. All right, let's take a look at another one here. Now, on this drawing here, you see I'm going to call this off as datum feature M. It's against one side. See, so what is that going to do? It's going to establish a plane. It's going to establish a plane on this edge. Now, it's going to be a small little plane, right? It's not very big, but that's going to establish a plane. Now, notice the difference is if I put it right in line with that arrowhead, I put it in line with that arrowhead, we got something different. Now we have a center plane that we're establishing. So you could have either one. And it's a little tricky at first when you look at it, but you get down to it. What is the datum feature? Is this the datum feature right here? Or is this surface here the datum feature? And that's the two ways to put it on. Now, there's also something we have partial datum features. For example, you see sometimes parts don't mount on the entire surface. Here it looks like I have some type of a, a slotted part. And what it does is it's fastened down. And you notice the datum, it's just in this area over here. So on the drawing, I could do something like this. I would say the distance, I would have to identify what it is. That's 40 millimeters. And I point to that surface, and I say that that is datum feature A. So a chain line is used there. And a chain line, you actually just point to the chain line, and that will actually uh, tell you which area, what partial area that you dimension, and tell you it's only that area right there. Yeah, and in the, in the dimensions, uh, in the alphabetical lines, a chain line is a heavy center line. So that would look here. Now, uh, so that's identifying that area. And so if a coordinate measure machine, what would that tell them? I think it's clear enough to be able to see that it would go across in this area. No need to hatch this or anything. I can see it clear. So a coordinate measure machine, they would just touch this area right here. Or an inspection, they would just mount it up just in that area. That's our datum. Here's another one, a uh, uh, cover that I have that uh, mounts just in this area. Maybe it's a cover of some kind, mounts like this. Notice how we did it here? I hatched this one. Sometimes we can hatch it if it's necessary to show that it's not across the entire surface. And you notice here's my datum feature symbol. Uh, it's attached to a flatness, and then the flatness is ending with a dot. In this case here, I'm showing that that area there is the primary datum. So on a coordinate measure machine, I would just touch that area there. Here's another one, a shaft that mounts on a bearing. You notice how it mounts just in this area? I don't need the entire shaft to be a datum. Then I can do something like this. This one here is datum feature A. And I tell you how the distance is. No tolerance on that just tells me how far I'm supposed to go to establish that datum feature. Now here's another one. Oh boy, here's somebody late for class going by there. OK, here's another one here. This here is a uh, multiple datum feature. And a, a multiple datum feature, what I have is, is I have this shaft. 